Season 3 for Call of Duty is right around the corner and I have everything you need to know. Across Warzone, Zombies, and Multiplayer, there really is a ton of content coming. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn all things Season 3. Today we have another awesome video for you guys. We're going to be going over everything, and I mean everything. everything to know for Call of Duty Season 3. Whether it's Warzone, multiplayer, zombies, it doesn't even matter what you play. If you're into Call of Duty and you're ready for Season 3, I got all the information you need. Together, we're going to go through the blog post on the COD website. I have that linked in the description below if you guys want to check it out yourself. But we'll go through that. We're going to check out Warzone, zombies, multiplayer, all new things coming. So sit back, relax, and let's hop right into it. Okay, guys, so here we are. And wow, isn't that a hell of a spread when it comes to the season three overview? Um, they, it almost takes up the whole screen. There's so much coming. But this is everything you're going to need to know. First things first, season three is going to be dropping on April 3rd. April 3rd is a Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it should be dropping at 9 a.m. Pacific or noon Eastern. That's usually the time that they drop these updates. But yeah, like I said, this is the spread. We're going to be starting off with multiplayer and what's coming to Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer in Season 3. Yeah, uh, you know, a little bit of a summary. Sledgehammer has made six, and that's a lot, six new Core, v, uh, core 6v6 maps that are coming to Season 3. Four new game modes. All new things when it comes to ranked play, and then some new perks, tacticals, uh, and things of that nature. So, first, starting off with the multiplayer maps, we have a map called Six Star. It looks like a bit of a hotel map. Pretty cool. I do think this is going to be quite colorful and, and an interesting map. Um, moving on from there, we got Emergency. Almost reminds me of High Rise with that helicopter in the middle. But Emergency, new map. Uh, we have Grow House. Moving on from Grow House, we got Tanked, which is almost expanding on what, like, the, the zoo... Oh, no, it is zoo. It, it's zoo in Vondel. Um, so, yeah, I was about to say, it, it almost looks like it, but it actually is. It's zoo in Vondel, which is honestly a decent map. You know, I, I, I enjoy landing zoo, personally. So, yeah, that's zoo in Vondel that's coming as a map. And then Checkpoint. This will be coming mid-season. Um... Uh, with, as well as Grime. These are going to be the two that come mid-season. But the other four are going to be coming at launch. But yeah, Grime looking like uh, Underpass. Some sort of like, uh, you know, city, city streets type of map. Pretty cool. Moving on from there on multiplayer, we got four game modes coming. Uh, first game mode, Capture Flag. You guys know what that is. It's been in many, many CODs before. You got to capture the flag. Um, moving on, we got One in the Chamber, another classic, classic Call of Duty special game mode. Um, I grew up playing this game, uh, this mode, back on, like, Black Ops 1. Um, that's, like, when I first remember playing One in the Chamber. And awesome game mode. I always have fun on it. I'm sure you guys will, too. Uh, moving on from there, we got Minefield. This is something new that I haven't seen before. Um, in the same way that Season 2's hard, uh, Horde Point was Hard Point with Zombies, think of Minefield as multiplayer but with mines. I'll tell you right away, I will be staying far away from this game mode. Um, <laughs> but yeah, looks like my, uh, Minefield uses the same rules as the mode in, in question. But with one important addition, when you defeat a rival player, a proximity mine is dropped at the enemy's corpse. Sounds like hell. Sounds like a lot of mines, and I will not be playing that game mode. But if you're interested, interested in some, you know, random fun modes, that might be for you. I don't know. Uh, and then we have Escort. This is another mode that's returning from past CODs. Um, you know, you got to escort a, it looks like a little robot, little robot car. Uh, two to two different objectives, um, and then I guess there'll be an attacking team, defending team, um, and yeah, that's that's the new game modes that are coming. Oh, I guess more is going to be also added to the Vortex playlist uh, with the map variants. Uh, you know, the Airborne, Satan's Quarry, Skidros, Spore Yard, all these different funky remakes of the maps. Um, but yeah, that's the new maps and modes that are coming in multiplayer. Now, moving on to ranked play in Season 3, we got some all-new rewards, all the way from rank 5 to rank 50. 
Um, and then um, some other rewards based off of your wins from five wins to a hundred. And then the division rewards, which will be like if you're in gold, you'll be getting, you know, this skin, this emblem, this calling card or, or sticker, all the way up to top 250, which gets the most cool stuff. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the new rewards coming with season three of ranked play on there. Now, there's also some new perks and equipment that are going to be coming to multiplayer, um, both in launch and in season. Um, so first we got the gunslinger vest. The gunslinger vest is basically a secondary weapon specialist vest. It's going to give you no primary slot, but two secondary weapons. Um, you'll get, uh, four equipment slots, two tactical, lethal, a field upgrade, um, and then four gear slots, gloves, boots, gear, uh, two gear. Um, so that, that'll be what the gunslinger vest is for. Next, we got the modular assault rig. Um, for that, the modular assault rig is going to have uh, a lethal and tactical scavenger type of vest. You'll get five total equipment slots, two tacticals, two lethals, a field upgrade, three gear slots, gloves, boots, gear, and you'll start with maximum reserve ammo, resupply lethals and tacticals from dead players. So that's if you want, you know, to be the most lethal and tactical scavenger in the game, that's perfect for you. Now, for the compression carrier, this is another new vest that they're adding. Let's find it down here. Compression carrier. Assisted healing and gas protection. So, you'll be getting one equipment slot. It'll be a lethal. Three gear slots, gloves, boots, gear. And you'll immediately regenerate health after a kill or objective capture. Reduce effects from gas grenades. So, I've complained about this for a long time, but this is basically quick fix. This is basically quick fix perks. You can even see the little symbol for it right there. If you like quick fix, I will definitely be using this vest because quick fix, in my opinion, is what allows you to get, you know, win 1v2s, 1v3s because you heal right away. You don't have to wait, you know, ages for it to heal. So that's an awesome vest. I like that addition a lot. Next up, we got the reinforced boots. Reinforced boots are coming at launch and it's going to make you immune to movement reduction effects. Uh, meaning, I guess, like stuns and things of that nature. And then lastly, we got the high gain antenna. The high gain antenna is going to be um, coming at launch. It's a new perk, a gear slot perk. It's going to make the minimap zoomed out for you and nearby allies. Um, enemies remain on radar longer for you and nearby allies if a uh if a nearby enemy has a cct comms vest perk see nearby ally radar pings from intel jacker and compass indicators from nearby ally signal jammer so that seems like a decent perk give you more map info and things of that nature um and i lied that isn't the last thing it doesn't show in this picture but one more thing come or two more things coming uh, we got the EMD mine. It's a new tactical, and what this mine does is a proximity-triggered mine that sticks to surfaces. Once triggered, the mine shoots out tracker devices that reveal the enemy's location and direction until removed. Interesting little tracking mine. And then now, finally, lastly, when it comes to multiplayer, new field upgrade called Enhanced Vision Goggles EVGs. This is going to be coming mid-season, and you could toggle between normal vision and enhanced vision with integrated target highlighting. Uh, but it has limited battery. So once you put those on, this is what it'll look like. Enemies will be highlighted in almost like a red uh, highlight. So you can see them a little bit easier. Um, pretty cool. You know, I think it's, I don't know if it's going to be worth using, but it's a field upgrade. You know, it's, it's something cool. I like it. I think it's a cool addition to the game. That is going to be it when it comes to multiplayer. New things coming to multiplayer. Maps, field upgrades, tacticals. Uh, game modes a lot coming a lot coming with season three at launch um but yeah we're gonna move on to zombies now and i'll see you guys there okay so here we are with zombies we got a uh good amount coming for modern warfare zombies a bit of a content summary overview here dark aether story continues take on the third rift season three challenges and schematics and a new warlord so Starting off, we're going to have the Dark Aether story continuing, saving Dr. Jansen. I'll read into it a little bit for you guys. An unknown force of disturbing power has its psychic tendrils wrapped tightly around Dr. Ava Jansen. The doctor has been lured into a new region of the Dark Aether under, that, under this 
Mal what is this word, man? Maligant influence. That's too big of a word. I don't understand that. Okay, anyways. Strike teams from Operation Deadbolt have converged to assist Sergei Revanov as he attempts to locate and rescue Dr. Jansen from the unknown. Your expertise surviving and escaping the Dark Aether is required. The time has come to explore a new part of the Dark Aether and rescue Dr. Jansen and readying up for another Dark Aether gate hunt. So that's what the story is when it comes to, um, you know, the zombie stuff this is coming mid-season. Um, and it seems like all the zombie stuff is coming mid-season, so you won't be getting much of this or any of this at launch. Uh, but it is coming with season three at some point. Moving on from there, ad additional unlock quests, a third rift, and more. Um, so we got some new quests that you guys are going to be able to do. Um, contracts, things of that nature. Um, all that type of stuff. As for challenges and schematics, you can see a little image here of some of the new things coming. There's going to be prestige challenges where you can unlock new prestige calling card challenges at each level of prestige reached and select up to five challenges to track, um, including any from across the game. Some new camo challenges um, and then the new schematics. So here, first one, dead wire detonators. What this is going to do, um, we'll read into it. Are you still shocked? at the impressive electrical damage the Deadwire ammo mod inflicts, then you might want to employ the Deadwire detonator and attach it to all of your explosive weaponry, including lethals and launchers. Um, so that's a new schematic that's coming. The other one is called Golden Mask Filter, a prize schematic with a shiny hue, an impressive long-lasting effect. Gain a self-regenerating gas mask for the rest of the match. This comes extremely handy for surviving zombie strongholds and any surprises in the rifts so it seems like a gas mask that'll regenerate pretty cool that'd be pretty useful and then the last one is sergeant's beret um your outcomes no longer need to be terminal when dealing with Z zakev's hired guns simply don the sergeant's beret to disguise yourself among the mercs and summon a trusty merc bodyguard who shadows you to the end that's cool so you'll be able to disguise yourself within you know the mercenaries wrong, uh, you know, around uh, the map, as well as having a bodyguard with you that'll defend you until the end. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like these three schematics that are coming. I think they'll all be useful, um, especially the beret and the golden mask filter. Um, and if you're looking to do some some damage, the dead wire detonators too. Now, last thing when it comes to zombies. There's going to be a new warlord called Rainmaker. This is what he looks like. Um, he I don't know about you, but if any of you guys played Fortnite, there's a skin in Fortnite um, that looks exactly like that. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments. Uh, unless I'm crazy. I don't know. I remember there being a skin just like this. Anyways, um, additional caution is advised when operating the so southeastern part of Urzikstan Exclusion Zone. So that's where he's going to be, southeast. Um, as a warlord rainmaker, uh, has commandeered and heavily upgraded the defenses of his fortress on Raha Island, across the water from Sahi Manor. So that's where he'll be. As his code name suggests, this warlord is an artillery and demolitions expert. Rainmaker, rainmaker artillery, makes sense. And though his island compound is relatively easy to reach... Stepping foot on the iron with your limbs still attached may be more of a challenge. So, seems like this guy is going to be launching some uh, artillery at you. Probably have mines surrounding the place. Uh, try not to get exploded. I guess that's all I really have to say. Um, but yeah, you'll be capable of some pretty nasty surprises that you won't be expecting. Mid-season Warlord Rainmaker. That is it when it comes to zombies. Um, like I said, all this zombie stuff is coming mid-season. So don't expect anything off the rip for zombies. Um, but that is what will be coming for zombies in Season 3. Next up, we got Warzone. Here it is, guys. Warzone Season 3. Wow. We have been waiting for this moment for a while now because you know what's coming back. I'm sure you've heard. <laughs> Rebirth Island, baby! Rebirth is coming back with Season 3. A uh, bit of a summary. We got uh, Rebirth coming back. Um, some new modes, gameplay features, and some new stuff when it comes to rank play. But the main event, the main course of this season 
is Rebirth Island. It's perfect. I love it. I love it. And they didn't even change it that much. If you guys can see what it looks like here. Rebirth Island is coming back. Um, the only thing that's kind of like, eh, you know what I mean? Is they're making it so you can swim now. Ugh. You know, like, why? But you can swim. Uh, you can see the border here. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like it goes too far out. But I can tell this swimming is going to be annoying. Anyways. Besides the swimming, uh, we're going to go over each of the POIs. This is what it looks like from a distance. Then we got bioweapons. Looking like a little bit of an inside refresh, but looks fairly the same. Industry. Um, they've changed the colors of this building to be white and red. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, here's the inside of it. Looks updated. Clean. Nice. Um, as well as the water tower, tower area. And the hilltop helipad. This is chem chemical engineering once again updated paint job and updated interior when it comes to the looks then we got doc doc looks fairly similar except if you can see in this little image here some sort of uh underground green area pretty cool pretty cool um we got the boat on the side over here i enjoy landing here i like this area as well as control which is next control center Control Center looks the same, in my opinion. I can't see any glaring differences. We got Prison, which looks fairly the same as well. Um, inside, yeah, looks pretty much the same, which is good. It's a good thing. I don't, I don't want too much change. Okay. Prison Yard and Tower. We got Harbor. Updated paint job as well. Warehouse and Old Office. Once again, updated interior, updated paint job. and looks like another underground portion. We got headquarters, another very active area with that annoying lighthouse tower, but looks pretty much the same. We got factory. Uh, once again, updated paint job on the outside. Uh, I don't know. It looks fairly the same inside. Um, yeah, we got factory. We got living quarters, another fun spot people like to land. This looks exactly the same as the old rebirth. Got the tents next to living quarters. That looks exactly the same too. Um, stronghold, which was a, you know, a nice new portion added there at the back. Good, good area. Um, yeah, I don't see much different here either, but another favorite location for people to drop. And I wonder, I know we're going to go over this in a bit, but I wonder if you're still going to be able to get specialists back here, or if there's going to be a different type of, um, Easter egg to get that. Um, and then, yeah, that's what all the new POIs look like. You know, rebirth isn't that big, so... Yeah, it's it, like I said, it looks fairly similar, and I think that's a good thing um, because they don't need to reinvent the wheel. They really don't need to do that. Now, when it comes to uh, the next things coming, we got some new Warzone modes and public events. Um, first things first, for you noobs out there, there's a new game mode called Boot Camp. This mode is going to be on Urzikstan. There's going to be 44 total players, 20 regular players, and 24 bots. If you want to train, if you want to learn how to play, this is the mode for you. I won't be in there because that is boring and for the noobs. Anyways, next, we're going to have Rebirth Resurgence, obviously, like we just said. Um, we're going to have Rebirth Resurgence loaded. Basically, what this mode is going to be is ditch to ground loot. You're going to bring your load out straight in. So you'll land straight in with your loadie ready, ready to go. Um, I think it kind of defeats the purpose, but... You know, I guess Resurgence isn't really a BR mode anyways. But, yeah. Player count 44, you'll drop in straight with your loadout. Then we got Rebirth Lockdown for you guys that are Lockdown fans. That'll be coming mid-season. Then a new public event. Now, this is a big one that caused a bit of controversy on Twitter. Um, this is the Infill Strikes. Essentially, what this will do, right? People saw the hole in the middle of prison and thought that was like a normal thing. No. This comes with the public event. What this event does, essentially, is, let's say here for Lighthouse, there's a big missile strike comes in and destroys the POI. So, this, it hit the tower. Tower gets knocked down into prison. And there's your gaping hole inside prison. So, this is stuff that'll only happen in a public event. You don't have to worry about this happening all the time for every game. 
I don't know how common it will be, but that's what will happen. This is the example for lighthouse. Prison roof collapses. Um, water tower can get knocked down, which honestly, like, who cares? These are both camper spots. Lighthouse tower, water tower, knock them down. I don't care. Um, but yeah, that's what's going to be happening with these infill strikes. It's a new public event that's coming to Rebirth Island. Um, and yeah, moving on. Another public event coming in the Gulag called Climb and Punishment. In this one, um, in this public event, it's going to basically change the Gulag to where death is not your only option. If you find yourself in the Gulag during a battle royale, uh, if this event is announced at the start of your Gulag confrontation, keep your comms on and negotiate with your opponent because two ladders are going to drop from the roof, providing an easy escape route. And it's up to you both to trust each other, ascend up to redeployment, or you can engage in combat as normal and ignore the ladders or prevent uh, or pretend to agree to escaping and then double cross a well-meaning rival. So you can either both escape through the ladders, you could both fight each other, or you can both try to escape and one can say, screw this, jump off and kill you as you're going up the ladder. So stressful. It's a, it's a test of morals, I guess you could say. Um, but interesting, interesting uh, gulag event. Moving on from there, another one that's coming mid-season mid -season is called Heavy Armor. Um, basically, what this public event is going to do is make it so that your uh, you get an extra plate, pretty much. Another plate slot is visible, and you get to put on another plate. Um, so it gives you a little bit more health, and you'll have to take a little more bullets to down somebody. Um, moving on from there, we got some new mission contracts coming. Spy Drones. Basically, what this is going to be, um, it's, a, it's an, a contract that you can do. And um, your new squad are to locate the drones that appear after grabbing your thing, and you're gonna have to destroy them. Pretty much, that's gonna be what the contract is, and then you'll get some money for it. Interesting. I wonder how much money you'll get, but to me, a search contract or bounty is always the way to go. Now, another big, big thing: Champions Quest contract is coming to Resurgence. So, those of you guys that enjoy going for nukes you're not gonna have to do it on big map anymore you could do it on uh rebirth island you could do it on rebirth island i said resurgence but it's just rebirth island um if you get five wins in a row you'll get yourself a um contract to basically do a nuke and if you complete the contract you'll get some uh, rewards like this Gun blueprint, skin, um, things of that nature. And it's a fun little thing for those sweaty sweats out there like me to go after on Resurgence. Pretty cool. Um, moving on from that, we got some new uh, and returning features coming into Warzone. First, we got a new field upgrade called Squad Rage. What this does is... It's an enhanced version of Battle Rage, pretty much. Uh, once active, Squad Rage vaporizes any gas within the radius of effects surrounding the user and grants Battle Rage to both you and any teammate standing within the radius. So, just like you said, enhanced Battle Rage. Pretty cool. New equipment, uh, utility box. What this is, is basically an armor box and a munitions box put together. Awesome. Love that. You always need both, so might as well put it into one. Now, coming back in season, we got Foresight, which allows you to see all the zones, um, you know, to the end if you grab it. You know, if you're lucky enough to grab it, you'll be able to see where the last zone is going to be. And if you're a camper, you can go camp there and hope to win. Or you can just use it for intel. Either or, it's a good uh, new equipment for you to find uh, around the map. As well as specialists, which will be coming back in season. But they have buffed the living crap out of specialists. And it might not seem like it, but now if you die with specialist, you'll keep it for the rest of the game. Making specialist the most OP thing in the game. So if you could find it, um, whether it be through an Easter egg or whatever, they haven't really announced it. Um, you get all the perks. You get every perk. And you you will be so OP because you could die and still keep it. So, specialist, 
huge buff. And uh, you'll be getting all these perks. That's a lot of perks. Anyways, um, updated movement, aquatic gameplay comes rebirth. We talked about this. You'll be able to swim now on the outskirts of it. Whatever. Not not a fan, but uh, moving on from that, we got some a biometric scanner coming. Um, basically, uh, what this does is around Rebirth Island, you'll have uh, ten biometric scanners. Um, once per match where these scanners are active, you can approach a scanner and quickly check your statistics. Meaning, uh, the scanner produces a key card based on your identity, um, along with an XP reward. Inspect the key card and you'll see it contains your operator name, clan tag, and access level. And um, with these key cards, you can use them to... I'm trying to even figure it out. I don't even know. What can you do with these key cards? It takes up a slot in your backpack and can be dropped. Uh, can unlock a special menu in any Rebirth Island buy station. Okay. So you could go to a buy station with your key card and get some rare types of uh, loot, I guess. Um, here are the different types of key card ratings. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Polyatomic, Orion. Um, basically, oh yeah, here we go. So based on your rank, you can get different types of, you know, things in your special buy station. Um, and, but the thing is, I don't think it really says how to, how to get your thing upgraded. Um, uh, trying to figure that out. Uh, yeah, I don't think it says it. I'll have to figure that out as it comes out. Um, because it seems actually like a cool idea. It gives you like a personalized buy station for based off of whatever biometrics. Um, so we'll have to figure that out as uh as the season goes along but anyways cool feature they're adding on top of that we got a variable time of day uh coming to rebirth so there'll be like daytime dusk and like a like a foggy slash like stormy type of looking weather which is cool so it's not the same every time as well as smart displays coming which uh will be uh, both in exterior and interior walls around the island and these panels will give you the general forecast um, Where the largest heat zone so it's like a heat map of Where people are around the map. So if you want to see like oh where the hell is everybody you look at the at the uh, Display and you'll see like a heat map of where people are at and go chase them um, and People who've scanned their bio cards may be shown on the big screens as well. Um, so this would be an interesting little addition to Rebirth. Uh, we, you know, I don't know how useful it'll be, but it's there. Moving on, new features, squad assemble and squad play bonus. Um, when you're playing with your squad, you will be getting uh, match rewards and if you land uh, near your more, uh, you know, if you land near your teammates, you'll be getting a message to la land with your squad to earn bonuses. So basically, it's just promoting to land with your team, um, and you get extra rewards, bonuses, whatever it may be. Um, and these are the spots, I guess, that you can get those rewards at around the map. Now. Returning weapon trade stations. You guys have seen that. You go in, you give it, you know, your weapon, you get some loot for it. So that's another thing that uh, we've had in the past that's coming back. I don't mind it. I think it's cool. Get, get some loot for something you might not need anymore. Um, and yeah, it looks like this this thing here, UBS Sustained Intel, coming at launch. Redacted, 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 redacted. This is the Easter egg. So there's definitely going to be some sort of Easter egg coming in Rebirth Island as well. Um, we'll have to figure that out and see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be all over TikTok day one when someone figures it out. Um, coming as well, we got bunker entrances. Uh, there's going to be bunker entrances around Urzikstan that are now opened up for you to hop in and uh, loot up and get some... Uh, different types of things um you know different types of loot i'm sure there'll be good loot in those um and yeah that's gonna i'm like i'm like tired of talking right now there's so much content i'm literally tired of talking but we're almost there now 
great play when it comes to Warzone is shifting from Fortune's Keep over to Rebirth Island. Um, Rebirth will be where the new ranked play is on Warzone. A lot of people are upset about this because people want to play on the big map and they're just they're just not focused on that right now um on their br it's all about resurgence and ranked is coming to them there's gonna be coming to to that there'll be all new rewards based off of your level based off of placements uh based off of um your rank these are all those rewards and um that's basically it when it comes to um Warzone, where, you know, there's stuff on Warzone Mobile, but we're not going to really talk about that. But that is everything when it comes to Warzone specifically. i um, trying to get down to the part. Here we are. Okay. Now, this is kind of for the game as a whole. We got four new weapons coming. First, we got the FJX Horus Submachine Gun. Um, then, after that, we got a new sniper called the Moors Sniper Rifle. It's an advanced form of sniper warfare. Um, we got the Gladiator, aka Butt Plug Knives. That's what these are called in Counter Strike. Um, but little little butt plug looking knife. And then we got the BAL 27 Assault Rifle. Uh, it's a top loading assault rifle with rapid ammo swap and fast firing. Um, we're also going to be getting eight new aftermarket parts, including the Jack Cutthroat, Jack Ravager. Jack Jawbreaker, Jack Shadow Titan, Jack Patriot, Wardens, Jack Atlas Kit, and Photonic Charge Barrel. Um, there's a lot. It's all, you know, I don't think it necessarily says what it does, but it's going to be for the, um, you know, some of the MCW, MTZ, M4, you know, stuff like that. Compatibility with some shotguns. Um, it's a bunch of different things. We're not going to really know what they do exactly until we get a hold of them. But eight new aftermarket parts that will change how some guns work and might be OP. Who knows? Um, we got some new Black Cell stuff. Whole new Battle Pass. Different skins. Once again, my uh, theory that the people over at COD are furries because I can already see a werewolf skin. Uh, we got Snoop Dogg. Banshee skin. Um, we got some other cool looking skins, uh, a free gift coming. That's going to be for the Warzone fourth anniversary containing all the different types of stickers and stuff from Warzone's past. And we got Cheech and Chong coming. I did not see this. This is a long, you know, I never would have thought this would be a pack coming. We got Cheech and Chong coming, uh, voiced by Tommy Chong and Cheech Marin. So it'll be perfect. Perfect pack for those who are a fan of those two. Uh, we got some new Godzilla and Kong stuff coming. These packs are sick. I specifically like this one over on the left. Um, what else we got? Emperor pack. Some other bundles. We got a... Like, once again, reinforcing Cod's a bunch of furries. Sloth guy, dinosaur guy. Bunch of furries. Anyways. Um, and then some new seasonal events for some camos. Um, and challenges to unlock different things like that um and then you know we'll have to regain and reconvene back when it comes to season three reloaded um coming in the future um but yeah guys that's basically everything when it comes to warzone like i said warzone is definitely getting the biggest um you know allotment of content it makes sense being that warzone is their biggest money maker and the most played version of Call of Duty. But yeah, man, that's everything that's coming to Warzone. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Alrighty, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I don't know if you could tell, but that was a lot of talking because that was a lot of content. There is a ton coming to season three. Hopefully that video just gave you a bit of an overview and, you know, helped you read a little more into it without actually having to sit there and read the blog post like i said earlier if you want to read it for yourself it is in the description below if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button let me know in the comments below what you guys think about season three when it comes to multiplayer zombies warzone the whole shebang personally i think it's going to be a good season but will rebirth island be enough to keep us through the whole season probably not 
we need some original stuff and i think that's important that cod gets that across that they need to start making original new stuff because this this stuff dries up quick it really does um but yeah like i said let me know in the comments what you guys think and then once again if you guys are already subbed to the channel make sure you hit that sub button down below as well as the notification bell so you never miss another video on this channel Whew, that's enough talking guys i'm gonna go drink some water because i might lose my voice but thank you guys for watching all the way through if you did i appreciate you i love you and i will see you guys in the next one peace out have a fun season three.